All right, I have a very important announcement, and this is going to happen. I almost guarantee it. And I'm going to rip it off like a band-aid since everybody has such a short attention span. This has to do with you never seeing a physical woman ever again, okay? Because it's coming to that. You think it's hard to get girls now. It's about to get a lot harder. Your physical interaction with females is about to be drastically cut. <laughs> and uh, it all has to do with the metaverse. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're rolling your eyes. But don't think about it as a metaverse, okay? I predicted the metaverse, and not by name or anything, but okay, so what I mean by that is the first time I ever tried a VR headset that was decent, it was hooked up to a good gaming computer. It was like one of the first models too, but it was like, you know, a nice setup, you know, he had a big room designated for it, and after I stepped out of that, I was like, oh, yep, it's over. Everything's, everything's changed. Everything's totally ridiculous. Everything's over now. Like, people don't even realize what the fuck we're on the cusp of. Because, remember, I said this was the first model that ever came out. I went into this VR headset for the first time, and I thought, this is the first one of these. And this is nuts. And for you that, that have never tried it, it's just, uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's the future. But it's not even the future of video games, it's just the future of everything. Like, our fucking cell phones could be VR fucking screens, or VR headsets in, like, a decade or two. Or I mean, like, I don't fucking know. Probably gonna be beyond that and onto something else, but... And I know what you're thinking. Or some people are thinking, oh, the, but the metaverse, like, looks like dog balls. You know what else looks like dog balls? Or looks like dog balls? Pong. And we went from Pong to, like, almost photorealistic looking video games to, like, even branching out of that into virtual reality, into another dimension of gaming, even. Just in my lifetime. Like, just in, like, what was it? Like, four days? We went from Pong to photorealism, and then we went up a dimension and brought the photorealism out in just my lifetime. So, the fact that the metaverse looks just absolutely ridiculous, which is actually kind of funny, because, like, we have such good graphics already. Like, the metaverse could look good if it wanted to, and Facebook is such a rich company, it's like, they're obviously, like, just smoking rocks, or they're obviously, there's something mentally off with them, okay? Because it's like, it should look so much better, but it's like, okay, whatever, do what you're going to do. <laughs> but, but I guarantee you that the metaverse, in the way that I'm thinking of it, is going to exist eventually. And that is, it's going to be a headset you can put on, and you can walk through a mall, like you would think a regular mall. This shit's going to take off. It's going to be ridiculous. And it's funny, yeah, way before Mark Zuckerberg and, and Facebook started doing this meta thing, I was like, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, so VR is going to replace phones. It's going to replace, like, Messenger. It's going to replace, like, FaceTime. It's going to replace Facebook. Instead of Facebook, oh, you're looking at a dumb little rock. Here's where your phone's going to be. It's going to be a dumb little rock. <laughs> you're going to be looking at this dumb little rock. And you're like, oh, internet. Like, how did we ever get so involved and be so, like, just, like, taken to the stars and just our imagination run wild with just this dumb little rock? Instead of Facebook being, like, this thing on, on a phone, Facebook is going to be, zoop. Like, you're going to see doors, and it's going to be like Facebook. You're going to open, and anybody that's logged into Facebook is just going to be standing in a room. <laughs> anybody that's your Facebook friend is just going to be standing in a room. And you can just walk up and talk to somebody if they want to be there or whatever. Like, if they're online just, like, waiting to chat, they can just be standing in this room playing pool. And you could just walk in. And you know what's funny about that? Is you don't have to waste gas. You don't have to do anything at all. You literally put on your headset, pretend to walk through some doors. You know, you like stand up and you like do the motions or whatever. But then next thing you know, you're in a fucking arcade, you know, playing pool or playing ping pong or shooting hoops with your friends. And you don't have to leave your house. And it is going to be so realistic here in like fucking no time at all. I guarantee it. It's going to be crazy. Because, yeah, I was surprised at how satisfying shooting hoops. I was like, oh, okay, so I don't even have to buy a basketball hoop. I wanted to buy a basketball hoop for my driveway. And then I was like, you know what, I'll even buy a basketball hoop for my room. Because I get bored sometimes. And then I realized, in VR, I have a basketball hoop. Like, just wherever I am at the given moment. I can just, oop, oh, I have a basketball hoop. And then just, oh, I put away my basketball hoop. That way it doesn't take up space. I don't need to put it anywhere. I can just, whoop, oh, it's in another dimension now. Oh, I want my basketball hoop? Oh, I can... Oh, it's in this dimension. Okay. It's going to take, like, six months for him to, like, weight the gloves. It's, oh, okay, so now the ball feels like it's there. That was easy. And it's, like, the tracking and the hand motion and stuff, it's, like, it's already so good. So it's just, like, yeah, what's going to happen in a few years? Or, like, in a few decades? We're going to be able to just scan ourselves in? 
We're just going to be able to walk in. And you want to know what that's going to fucking do? Is people are going to stop going out in the public. Because why would you when you don't have to? Because public is dangerous. People are crazy. People are unpredictable. People are violent. <laughs> Being out in society is kind of risky and sketch because people are lunatic. So people are just going to result to this fucking virtual world because they can do everything that they'd be able to do anyways. The only thing they can't do is get shot because they're actually in their house. Right. And maybe they can't, like, drink and stuff because, yeah, maybe, maybe they'll have to figure that out. But, I mean, like, yeah, if you have your own alcohol at your house or something, I mean, I don't know. So, yeah, it's going to be a few decades down the road before we can figure out how to, like, actually get drunk in a virtual space. But, I mean, when it comes to doing things like just, like, wandering around fake environments, like, oh, my God, this is what China looks like. Like, okay, we can do that already. Uh, we can play ping pong with our friends. Like, okay, boom, easy. We can play golf with our friends. Boom, easy. We can play, like, death matches or, like, paintball with our friends. Like, okay, boom, easy. Like, we can do everything with our friends. You know, the only thing we can't do with our friends is touch them physically in real life. So isn't that nice? So isn't that cool? Imagine if you could go out in a public, except for nobody could touch you. Like, literally. Imagine going out in a public and living your life, except for knowing that nobody can touch you because you're a hologram. That's totally going to be the metaverse. People are just going to be hanging out in the metaverse, doing everything in the metaverse, leaving their house when they have to, doing the thing. But just as much as people are on Facebook now, they're going to be in the metaverse. Just as much as people sit away and waste away on TikTok or YouTube, they're going to be doing that in the metaverse. You know what I mean? And I hate calling it metaverse, but it's like, that's not Mark Zuckerberg's thing. It's not like a Star Trek term or something. I don't know. I don't know, dick. But okay, so it's interesting to think about because it all has to do with evolution of technology and security and like bettering the lives and the security of, of everybody. And like, when I stepped out of that VR thing, I was like, okay, that's more than just video games. I was like, this is like the first one of these and we already seem to sort of have it nailed, like in a lot of ways. And what I got to experience in the VR for the first time is your main home room of your VR console is just a room where you're like, okay, and then you can spawn stuff, be like a pool table or like a ping pong table or like a TV or like a ray gun, a bow and arrow. And you know what's super fucking weird? You realize that everything, like a bow and arrow, a ping pong table, a basketball and a hoop, you realize that all of those activities are just as fun without the actual objects in your hand. You can have a virtual experience of shooting hoops. It's just as satisfying. It's the same goddamn thing. If anything, it's better because you don't have to run for the ball. It's like, sure, that inclines us to be lazy, and I see how that's a bad thing. But at the same time, you don't have to run for the ball. You can just be like, shoot, goes back in your hand, shoot the hoop, shoot, goes back in your hand, shoot the hoop. I mean, like, it's insane. We can now be in a world that's different that we can manipulate. But we can just do things like hang out in this. Like I can put on my VR headset right now and be like, okay, I want to watch a movie, but in a movie theater. I can put on my VR headset, go into my fake little house where there's a movie screen, and all it does is it just puts the Netflix screen on a screen in a fake theater. Boom. Looks like you're in a movie theater. Mind-blowing. Simple, but mind-blowing. Right? So, stay with me, right? So... When I first realized that, I was like, okay, so so shit's done. After I took off that VR headset for the first time, I was like, oh my god, yeah, that's going to change everything. That's going to change how people shop. That's going to change, like, how people interact with each other. Instead of going like this and being like, hey, Bill, you're going to be able to just put on a headset and look over, and you're just going to be on Bill's couch, and you're just going to look over, and you're going to be like, hey, Bill. Because literally. <laughs> like, we can already pretty much do that, I'm pretty sure. But okay, so I want you to take a journey with me to the future to the pretty distant future where technology is just as crazy as we want it to be, right? So think about this. It's the future. You meet a girl online and you're like, oh, let's hang out. She's like, oh, okay, I can hang out right now. You're like, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's go hang out. Like, you're like, oh, well, that was quick. Like, not even five minutes later, you walk into this bar and you hang out with this chick. And you're having a good time, you know, you're talking. That's the majority of it, is you're just talking. You know, getting to know each other, having fun, you know. Maybe you'll, like, yeah, watch a movie. Maybe you'll, like, play some fucking putt-putt golf. And then, at the end of the night, you go to kiss her. But just, you, she's a hologram. And then you're like, oh. <laughs> that probably wouldn't happen because you would know that you're in the metaverse. So that kind of only happened for, like, for, like, the effect of, like, the, <laughs> you know, for what it would look like for to get the point across. You know what I mean. He wouldn't actually have to do that because he would know that she's not really there. <laughs> but yeah, and then you go to kiss her and just, it's a hologram. And the girl's like, oh. And then you, she would like either try to kiss you back or not. You know what I mean? And if she doesn't, if you're just like, Whoop, she could just be like, oh, yeah, sorry, I don't think that we're there yet. Or you could be like, hey, 
I think it's time to take our relationship to the next level. We should meet up in person. And they could totally be like, no. You could be on a date with a chick and, and then they could just like disappear. Just, oh, they logged out. Or you're like, hey, can I kiss you? They're like, no. And you're like, damn, I can't even beat the crap out of her or rape her because she's, <laughs> because she's a hologram. And then, but you know, on the girl's side is like, oh, I denied this guy. I mean, I've been on a date with him all night, but I feel okay denying him because he can't rape or beat me, even though we're face to face and we're doing everything that we would ever be doing in real life. The only thing that you can't do on this virtual date is touch a physical person, unless they want you to. If they wanna, if they ever want to have a relationship with you, they could see you in person. But it's funny because I bet you 90% of social interactions are gonna be in a virtual fucking world. Think about fucking COVID, how people are already hiding their faces and fucking being less social. So with COVID, people being less social, and like, think about in India, people fucking hide their faces anyways. Like, girls are going to be a commodity. <laughs> you know what I mean? Girls are going to be in their houses. Girls are going to be tucked away. And you're going to be like, oh my god, where did all the girls go? All the girls are staying in the comfort of their home because they can. It's like, oh, but girls love to go out and be sassy and get have a night on the town. <laughs> yeah, they're going to be doing that from the comfort of their own home in a virtual world where they know nothing can happen to them. Because remember, they're going out into a society where they know that nobody can touch them. Remember, because video games are going to be that realistic, I bet you fucking anything, because it's not even going to be video games at this point. And it's like happening as we speak, I'm pretty sure. They're, they're, they're molding it. But so think about this. When you hang out with your bros, think about if you had a perfect virtual reality simulation. Is there any difference between you actually hanging out with your bros? I mean, sure, you might not be able to give bro fives and fucking hit each other's stomachs and fucking high five every five minutes. But take all that bullshit away. You and your bros are just sitting on the couch watching football. You and your bros are just shooting some hoops or, or playing cards, just hanging out watching a movie. Is there any reason you would ever have to touch each other? Because if you don't have to touch each other, all of those things could be done in a virtual world. Like, hey bro, you wanna hang out? Yeah, let's hang out. Gloop. I didn't even have to drive. I don't have to do shit. A matter of fact, we actually just have like go-karts and like a basketball court and like all this crap now. So it's better than hanging out in real life because, oh, now we have all this shit and, and we're hanging out. And it's like, oh, well, what about people that don't like to game? It's, so that's where you're, you're dumb. It's so beyond video games at this point. It's going to be real enough to where it's just going to be like, okay, so if you enjoy shooting hoops, if you enjoy playing ping pong, if you enjoy playing pop golf, if you enjoy doing archery and all those stuff, then you're gonna wind up in, in VR. It's not only for gamers or only for nerds. It's gonna be the whole world. It's gonna be the new way of doing shit, whether fucking COVID forces it that way or, or not. I mean, I don't know. I'm not thinking that that's what'll happen, but I'm just saying that's one possible way that it could happen that I didn't even have to think about. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like people could be like, oh, COVID's just out in the air so much now. Nobody can leave their house. But we just opened a brand new fucking metaverse where we pretty much have the entire world virtually. So you guys can do everything in this crazy, amazing new video game. This this new internet, pretty much, that we have created. This entire virtual, this other dimension that you guys can now go into. But you can't leave your houses. Okay? You can only hang out with your friends in this virtual space. You can only, And you guys can do everything that you could ever do. The only thing you can't really do is touch each other. And that's just a coincidence. It's not that we don't want you to touch each other. It's just that you're not actually going to be in the same room as each other. But, see, for a lot of stuff, that doesn't matter. It's so weird that if somebody puts on a VR headset and I put on a VR headset, we could just be hanging out right now. And it's like, if there's no reason to touch one another. It's like the experience is exactly the same. And I bet you even fucking boyfriend and girlfriends, they're going to fucking, they're, that's going to be the new taking a break. They'll be hanging out and the girlfriend will be like, hey, I think that we should take a break. I think that we should only hang out in, in the virtual world. And the guys are going to be like, what? That's fucking ridiculous. Why would you do that to me? And the girls are going to be like, what do you mean? The virtual world, we literally can do all the same stuff. It's literally the same exact experience, except for it's taking away the touch. It's making it so that I feel safer. And it's just putting up that boundary right now because I want to break. And, it, and it's giving you a chance in a, in a safer, you know, more kind of playful way. So, you know, I think that it'd be healthy for us to only hang out in a virtual world. And the guys are going to be like... <laughs> The guys are just going to fucking be so pissed. They're going to have to, like, pretend that, oh, okay, yeah, the, the relationship, okay, yeah, you're right, I love you for you. 
and, and touching has nothing to do with it. Well, I'm, I'm going to have to prove to you that I like you for you, and it, do, it doesn't matter if I can touch you, and I'll try to earn my privileges back. And then it's going to be like, oh, we should only hang out in person when we want to have sex. And then it's going to be like, babe, come on, you mean you're going to stop hanging out with me in the real world altogether? It's going to be like, oh, but it saves gas, and, and, and we can do all this fun stuff. And it's like, it's like if we only want to have sex sometimes, I mean, we should just meet up for the one times we want to have sex. And it's, like, <laughs> and it's just it's good, a whole web of bullshit I can already foresee. I'm like the Notre Dame of watching the internet apocalypse unfold before my eyes. I am, <laughs> I am the, I am the John Edwards of of watching this fucking shit go downhill between fucking species and and between uh, genders and just between everything. <laughs> but yeah, exactly. Being able to hang out in a world where, and you want to know what got me on, on this whole tangent? I was watching Crystalia, and you know he has this little inside joke about you know all of his. Uh, fans, like everybody's gonna get together and build a log cabin. And then in this one episode, he's talking about the metaverse, and he said, "I guess I'll just build a virtual log cabin. That way, we could all hang out, but the lunatics can't get me because I don't trust all of you." And it's so funny because I was like, "Oh my God! Thank you for saying that because you just shed light on something that I've been trying to fucking say for a long time." Crystalia is not an attractive female. He's just a semi-famous dude. You know what I mean? And he feels necessary that, if possible, he would like to meet all his fans in a virtual space because he doesn't trust all of us. He doesn't know if one of his fans is going to stab him. He'd love to hang out with all his fans in a log cabin, but if he could do it in a virtual space, he's like, oh, yeah, we'll just do it in the virtual space so that nobody stabs me. I don't trust any of you. And I was like, oh, my God, funny that that's a, an option because I bet you anything girls are going to love that. Plenty of fish, fucking Tinder, all these dating websites are just going to be virtual places where you hang out with the person and go on dates and you just can't actually interact with them. And, and people are going to love that. That's going to be all interactions are, are just virtual and it's going to be fucking crazy. All real girls are just going to fucking, like, you're, like, unless you go to school or, or have a job or, like, you're, like, you're not going to be seeing real females, I feel like, in the future. And then another thing is it's like, okay, let's say that it's in the future and everybody's hanging out in a virtual world, okay? Like, everybody's out in the streets, like in bars and hanging out, but that's actually in a virtual world. Everybody's all in their houses, but there's a very active city uh, in this other dimension, in, in this metaverse. But it's funny because people will be used to going to virtual chat rooms. They'll be putting on their headset, going into town, going to, like, a club, and meeting people. And that's going to be the new social norm, the new social interaction, the new hanging out. is going to be a safe version of being able to, you know, hang out without spreading disease or killing each other or like any number of things, you know what I mean? So it's going to be like another dimension, a little universe where people can feel safe. But not only that, it's going to be like a video game pretty much. So it's going to be a manipulatable universe to where it's like, okay, so the club can be way cooler than any real club. It's like... We put on our headset, we go into town, and we meet up at this dance club. Except for this dance club is impossibly giant. It's just impossibly beautiful. It's just made of gold. It's like has all these crazy things. Like it's like because in a virtual world you can just make it so nuts that it's worth it. You know what I mean? You're like, oh my god, this is so beautiful that why would anybody go to any other club? Or just like making things that you like couldn't exist in real life. Like, you can change what you look like. Like, oh, put on your headset and go out into town. And that's going to replace, like, going out into town, right? Except for now, when you go out into town, you get to choose what you look like. So it's funny. If you go out into town and you meet a female, they might not even be a female. You know, you're getting catfished in a whole other dimension now. You know what I mean? And it's fucking, it's fucking weird, you know what I mean? It's going to be, oh, I can already see. And it's like, and I know that there's movies about this and there's books about it and there's all sorts of crap, but I haven't even watched Ready Player One yet. I fucking, I try to stay away from all those things. But I know that this is going to happen. I totally know. It's just a matter of time. Suck it. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyways, enjoy it while it lasts. And I know that there's, like, full body suits and, like, treadmills and, like, even fleshlights and, like, stuff. <laughs> Sorry. But what I'm trying to get at is I know that it's possible to have sex in a virtual world, okay? But that cost extra. You know, that takes extra effort on both sides of the VR helmet. Like, if you have a virtual girlfriend that you want to have sex with, except for it's actually a person, it's like, oh, there's a girl in Australia, and 
she goes into the metaverse and you're in America and you go into the metaverse and you meet up and she's got a freaking VR freaking dildo <laughs> and fucking you've got a VR flashlight and it's like yes those things already exist because as soon as VR was a thing all the fucking all the nerds were like oh yeah porn yeah porn's like top priority <laughs> but no yeah so those things already exist so yes it will be able to you'll be able to have sex in a virtual world but I'm just like not everybody's gonna have that you know, you're not going to be able to have sex with everybody. It's going to be a selective thing. It's going to have to still be a choice. You won't be able to rape people, you know. Why? Yeah. <laughs> you know, because they'll have to, like, you know, turn on their device and, and use it. So it's like, you know what I mean? But it's like, yeah, so I know that there's going to be sex and stuff with, and, like, gloves and, like, you can even make it so that you can touch people. But that's what's sad and funny about it also is that, you know, if we're all living in this world where we're getting used to, like, putting on a VR headset and going out to a virtual world and hitting the club. Like, if that is replacing us actually going out and going to the club, because the video game just looks so real and it's, like, amazing and it looks like you can control all these aspects of it and it's, like, this impossible, amazing realm. So, like, okay, yeah, everybody's just going to meet up in this, in this realm where we're fucking, you know, interdimensional beings where everything's just fucking, like, literally a game. <laughs> you know? But so that's what's funny is, is when people are living lives like that, you might even have an entire girlfriend that you never meet in real life. And it's funny, you could even have sex with her. You could maybe meet up with her in the metaverse and, like, fucking touch her and kiss her and hang out with her. But none of that happens in real life. <laughs> so are you still a virgin loser? Are you still going through a dry spell? Are you still just masturbating? Is this just advanced masturbation? Or is this future intercourse? Is this, is this sexting? Or is this a masturbation video game? It's like, is this the future of webcam? Or is this like, you know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, so so what I guess what I'm trying to get at is that even actual intercourse might become a rarity. You know, with everybody hanging out so much online or spending so much time in virtual social media realms or spending time in an alternate dimension. It's like, will you just stop having sex with real people? You know, you're like, oh, I get all these bitches in VR. As you're like fucking jacking off in your flashlight all night. It's like, and then people are gonna, are there people gonna be okay with that? Or there's probably gonna be people that aren't okay with that, but they can't break out of it. Like, the only real place to meet girls is in this realm now, and every girl they meet is like, hey, you wanna meet up in person and have sex? And they're just like, no! You wanna have VR sex? Uh, I'm not gonna meet up with you in person, you know? Cause maybe I, you know, don't look like this, or m maybe you're a killer. I mean, like, there's reasons why we wouldn't wanna meet up. And then you're just all of a sudden, you're like, fuck, I can't ever have any real sex. Like, I have to already build an actual long-lasting relationship with somebody before they want to meet me in person. <laughs> and it's like, I don't know. I could already see it come. But it's funny, but when it goes back to being catfished also, it's like, you know those bots that always message you on Facebook? It's like, uh, it's like just some model. Like, they stole a Playboy cover model picture, and then they message you. It's like, sub sexy. Here's my phone number. I'm waiting for you. Tonight, please, now. Tonight, now, yes. And then you're like, that's a totally a real human being. And not only that, that has to be the girl in the photo. <laughs> you know those messages? Those are going to be real people. <laughs> You're going to be out on the town. You're going to be, like, hanging out at, at a freaking, you know, at an arcade with your friends. And a hot girl's going to come up to you. And you might even get to the point where you're having sex with them in virtual reality before they realize well before you realize that it's an arabian guy that's just after your credit card number or some shit you know what i mean <laughs> you could like fuck this chick in vr and then realize that it's like some arabian guy and he just like pickpocketed you or some shit like you know right? why does he gotta be arabian i don't know because they always fucking are i guess i don't know why are they always arabian i don't know that's a them thing okay <laughs> not a me thing okay what did daniel tosh say it's not racist if it's always true <laughs> it is though whatever but yeah or you'll just be like in the club and you'll walk up to a hot chick and you'll be like what's up and they'd be like how do you how do and you'll be like oh nope it's a bot 